Hello guys, and welcome to the worst way to play Dying Light. We are here, and we have changed the graphics already. I'll quickly show you guys before this dude starts talking again. Uh, we've taken the game down to a glorious, glorious 1024 by 768 here. Uh, we've got everything on low, apart from textures which can't be changed, and everything else is off. The minimum requirements for this game are actually quite high. You need to have an i5-2500 or greater, which is the equivalent of an AMD FX-8320 or higher, another 4 gigabytes of RAM game like GTA 5 was, but also a GTX 560 or a Radeon HD 6870 or better. Affected are all over the street. Okay. So what does that tell you? Keep off the streets. Keep off the streets. Try to stay on the Don't just fall down like I just did, because that's not the, the best You're idea in the world. The car, Spike. <laughs> right. So what we're going to do is just carry on with the game how it was. Uh, we've we've played this a little bit on the channel before, um, and we're literally just going to try our best to uh, to play along and see how well the game performs. Because uh, as you know from before, the most important thing for us right now is to work out whether or not the game plays well uh, on the lowest quality settings, but also whether or not the game is still fun on the lowest quality settings. And right now I'm having an altercation with one zombie and others are coming towards me to, uh, to attack me in great numbers. So we're going to try and head up here and quickly get back onto the roof of certain areas. I wonder if we can get up here. Looks like we probably can. It looks like we'll also need to find some, some metal parts. I'm probably not going to carry, carry on with the storyline for now. We will just keep on going as we are. Look, I can balance on here. Oh. Ooh. Nice. We're doing it. We're going to even run along it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. So we're getting a good chance to see how the freeway has been affected over here. But some notice things, things that I'm noticing straight away um, for, for starters, the... The smoke and fire effects still do look pretty good. Um, you can obviously feel like the game does look a little bit uh, segregated. The shadows are not the best in the world. They've obviously scaled down quite significantly. And the draw distance isn't too bad either. But the, the thing that interests me the most, reflection quality is not great, but the thing that interests me the most is the fact that we still have a significant amount of zombies! Well, that's a thing. <laughs> we still have a significant amount of zombies just sort of like hanging out on the screen at one time. Usually with these games you kind of eventually find that there's like a, a, a kind of a limit and when you play lower graphical settings like this it kind of feels like the game perhaps is lacking in, uh, in action but actually it looks like there's still a really good amount of zombies lying around here. Let's see if I can actually kill somebody with my broken wrench that I've got here. It looks like I, I have to tap A here, I think. Oh, nice, nice. There we go. Right, we need to find some metal parts. So I guess we can do this weird scan thing that we can do, maybe. I don't know. There's uh, alcohol, which we're going to grab, and a balaclava, which apparently we're going to grab as well. It looks like I was hungry, so I ate something there. There's a weird um, echoey thing that I can do, which I can't remember how to do. Uh-oh, I've armed something. Oh, this is just a, this is a firecracker, I think. Yeah, just a firecracker. That's fine. Uh, right, okay. I've completely forgotten what the button is to be able to do the, the scanning, checking thing. Oh, well. There's A. Okay, there you go. So we actually do have a chance to look in some other things. So we have to now do a lock picking thing. Oh, man. Okay, wow. Uh, let's see if we can... It feels kind of very similar to... Uh, very... S oh, God, I've run out of lockpicks, so I can't get in there. Very similar to uh, the way that you do it on Fallout and... Uh, and games of that nature, but it doesn't really matter anymore, anyway. Because we've managed to break it, anyway. Oh, God. Okay. Noise draws the attention of dangerous virals. Beware! Well, that's fine. Because we're not trying to play the game here. We're just trying to get involved and try to find... Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm so hardcore. Cool. You ready? Huh. Oh, what a, what a jump that was. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, we'll carry on searching for other additional items. Apparently, there's quite a few things inside here. It said we needed metal parts. Now, a water pipe would be actually a good weapon on its own, I think. I wonder if it is something that we can just start using straight away. We'll have to double check. Uh, what else is there? I can craft a new item, apparently. Oh, there's a zombie just here. Hang on, having a good time. <laughs> I don't know if he's even noticed me yet. Quick, get all the things. Okay, we, we now have enough stuff to be able to repair this, it looks like. Yeah! 
but now we can take you down. That's right. You better sit down. Nice. <laughs> Destroyed him. And metal parts. Oh, fantastic. Well, look at that. Sweet. And there's some more metal parts there as well. Nice. Okay, so we have a, a, a weapon now that is working better. Um, apparently, we can look at going into... There was a crafting station thing. We can go into like a water pipe or gas pipe. Let's have a look what is actually craftable here. It doesn't look like... Oh, I see. We can actually make this. The Zaz... Blah, 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 blah. I think it's Russian for smash your enemies face in and set them on fire. Okay. Um, how do I make it, though? Uh, oh, it needs a base weapon, which we don't have. We have all the other bits and pieces. We don't have the base weapon to build it. Okay, well, that's fair enough. I think we probably are okay with the weapon we've got, but we'll double check and see whether or not there's anything that's better. Um, doesn't seem to be anything. Actually, I think... Yeah, strange. It doesn't seem to have the... Uh, oh, no, the equipped weapons are over here. Okay. So, uh, rusty pipe wrench, we've got gas pipe is better. So if we just uh, equip the gas pipe here and quickly switch it out or just try to change the item that we're using right now. There we go. Apparently this is actually even more effective. So we should be able to, yeah, take you out in the face. Nice. Well, the, uh, the, there's a couple of interesting things I'm noticing. The ragdoll effects do seem to still be working quite nicely, which is really good to see. Uh, the game itself is performing quite well. And as you can see, we do end up with a large amount of zombies on screen at one time. Uh, that, is, that is a pretty good selection. Um, so the game isn't limiting itself too much by playing on lower settings. A lot of times when you play these games uh, and you play them on lower settings, it does kind of like limit the amount of things that can appear on the screen at any one time. But it seems to be pretty good, actually. I'm quite impressed. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not the game would actually be able to run this effectively on that minimum specification. But if you are running the game on a laptop uh, that is that kind of level, I think you would still have a pretty good time playing this game. At least I, I hope you would. It looks good. Sunset looks good. I'm actually, I'm actually very, very impressed with this game. So I, I hope that you guys like it as well. It's, it seems like they've put a good amount of effort into making sure that it still is significantly playable. This zombie is in the wrong place at the wrong time, so we just ruin him, ruin his day. There we go. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Right. Okay. So I don't think there's anything else for us to do now apart from head back to our mission and uh, and carry on working on the things that it requires us to do. There's a car that we need to look at trying to arm. I'm not quite sure what this is all about. Green green light on this car. Hmm. Can we, like, check it? Doesn't seem to be anything involved there. How strange. Okay, well, we've only got about 100 metres to run to be able to get into the right place. I love the fact that they put these little bits and pieces around so that you can just kind of, like, run along and just be like, yeah, yeah. Just do some little, like, dodges and stuff there. Got to climb up over this fence. Nice. There's like a, bo a bucket of water or something there. Oh man. Okay, we're off. Let's see if we can get to this car and uh, and arm it. That was currently what we're doing on the uh, on the actual playthrough. A good chance for us to uh, to take a look at that though. Excuse me, people. I'm sorry. I need to just quickly get. Out. Oh god. Okay. Well, it looks like it's here. Uh, I think. Are we going to? No. Okay. We can't do it with all these people around here. So what we're going to have to do is just. I'm a firecracker and chuck it. Oh dear. <laughs> that has not worked. Uh, I wonder if we can arm another one and just have it go like over there a bit. Okay. That probably is a bit more accurate. Uh, there we go. Thank you. I'm just going to do this now. Oh, so close. Okay. They are not interested in me making them go away, are they? Go over there. That's better. Yeah, see? Go over where the firecrackers are. I don't know. I've got, I've got eight of these left now. I'm going to have to try and take this one out. <laughs> He's like in the way. There's a firecracker over there again. Follow it. It's so loud. It's so significantly louder than I am. Go, that's it. Good job. Good job. Go on. Do your thing. Yes. There you go. That's how you do that. Brilliant. Okay, well, that's not that one set. We've got one more over here to do. Uh, which we can actually quite easily just uh, quickly set up a thingy. Which means they're all going to go over there. And we can go this side of the car and just quickly start the setting of the alarm here. And the there we go. Now. Fantastic. Good job. <laughs> okay. 
don't get caught in the open. Are you are you guys? Spike, these freaks yeah. are everywhere. If I need to use a trap, how do I activate it? You can't. I told you. Oh god. Not allowed to uh, to set shit. any traps okay. off. That's not good. <laughs> He's like, shit. Okay, I'll risk my life. I think we were saved by somebody, if I can remember correctly. So we kind of like owe them our uh, our life. So that we're kind of currently just just spend a bit of time working on that. Do you think we can make that jump? I think we can. Hiya! Oh, nice. That was good. The actual thing is past the freeway over here, so. If we get up onto here, and then go all the way across, we should be pretty good to go. Yeah, we can head down to here, and onto this one. Nice, okay. Whereabouts is it? Can you see? Is it this thing here? Oh god. Let's just set a firecracker up over there. Whilst we have a little bit of a look. Oh, it's up there somewhere. Right, okay, cool. That's fine. Well, we can take care of that. Not a problem at all. Oh, yeah. Take that. And you. Yeah. Uh, can we actually get up here on this? No, we can't. Okay. We can go right around the building, it looks like, if we wanted to. Hmm. Now, the question is, how do we actually get up there? Are we going to have to do it from another building? I think we might have to, yeah. That makes sense. Now, the impression that I'm getting for anybody who's wondering about the worst way to play Dying Light, I'm, I'm getting the impression that actually the game does play quite smoothly um, I'm not I'm not getting the sense that I'm playing on like a really bad quality and in fact it kind of feels like this might be what the console versions actually look like anyway so yeah it's definitely not a problem uh, definitely is playing well enough as far as I'm concerned so contraption you got yeah here. very very happy with it very very happy with it there we go BAM danger high voltage right so we've got to arm more devices now is that right Oh man, this is quite scary. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been the worst way to play Dying Light. Hopefully, it has given you some insight into how the game can look and uh, and how well it performs. Don't forget, if you want us to play more of this game, uh, either in the worst possible settings or the best possible settings, we can do either, uh, then do let me know in the comments and leave a like on the video. Uh, and as always, 200 likes will get us playing this game again. Uh, it's, a, it's a very achievable goal if you guys want to see more then please do don't forget please do don't forget I can speak I say words and stuff and everything is totally fine but until next time guys I've been Kaf of the Kafcast. thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time take care guys bye bye you've been watching the Kafcast. we hope you have enjoyed the show don't forget to check out all of our other videos Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Kafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.